Maybe this is how Rick disappeared. Can we get some lights going on here? Automatic. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. He left the house too? If there's a pattern in all these stories... I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Hmm. Look at Edith here. Eventually, she came back. This is some sort of bunker. Hmm. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Oh my god! On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. He didn't disappear! But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. What is the shaking though? Is there an earthquake every day? Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. He's been so traumatized by Barbara's death. Because he was there that night. And then one day, everything just... 2005! Stop. He's been doing this for 30 years. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. So Walter has been traumatized by Barbara's death this whole time, but Edie was bringing meals to him. He just kind of locked himself here. Oh, but check this out. Postcards. Wait, do the rest of the family know about Walter being here? Maybe not, because I assume that these are postcards being sent by the family, being like, Hey Walter, we're going to Russia this month, we've been to Thailand, we've been to India, but this whole time, maybe people never knew that he was right below them. And there seems to be some type of monster here that is no longer here. Damn, how could anyone live like this? He must be really traumatized. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. And Calvin. It's not just Barbara, but everybody, all of his siblings who went before him. He was the last sibling to go. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know, I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. 
I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh. I think the train ran him over. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Yeah, they didn't know. Man. The day he decided to leave the house, he died. What the hell is that? March 31st. Damn. Should we go outside? I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Oh, that's so sad. He pretended he had an outside by putting a painting here. So whatever this curse is, if you're hiding from it, it seems that you can kind of escape it until you stop hiding. What the heck? Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Too many things. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Walter Stoff. Oh man. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Totem pole. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Am I her kid? I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. We had totem poles around here. Oh, what is that in the distance? Hear the metal clanging from time to time. That looks like some sort of. It looks like a sunken ship, but it can't be. A station of some sort? It's still a little bit too unbelievable to believe in a family curse. And when you look at the house, 
had that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. Have we ever made it to the really tall parts of the house? Oh. Oh, it's so dark. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? One that expects death. Right. Earlier it was mentioned that Odin- It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. <laughs> Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Derpy Jr. Derpy! Lucy, Daisy, Charlie, Tucker, Burpy, Chirpy, Furpy, Lurpy, Zerpy, Zoe, Coco. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly. A cat with wings. Calvin. Who liked space. Sven. Home renovation guy. Edie. Who was creative. And loved reading. Walter. Hmm. I'm not too sure what this is. Barbara, the star. What is this? Oh. Oh, there's something really little. Oh. It's a recreation of the tracks. It's um him looking out into the ocean. I think that's a little figure of him in there. Yeah, when he first left and was in that tunnel. It wasn't updated after this though, or did they just run out of space here? I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Is that Edie and Sven? She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh! That's their old house! Their old house that sank. Can't really see it all that well. Am I supposed to be able to see it better? Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. I guess they put a light there so the boats don't run into it. Because it's a hazard. side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. You want to protect your children. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Gregory. Oh my god. That's... A little bit shy of two years. Sam. Sam, who was the, the veteran. He served in the military. Gus. We don't know too much about Gus. Milton, who drew everywhere. Mm, he has a missing poster, but it's assumed that he's dead. Sanjay. We don't know who that is yet. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. 
Sanjay. Louis. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. It's a little bit unstable. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Ah. She's writing this journal for the kid. Be careful, this is dangerous. Especially since, you know, there's a family curse going on and all. But like she said, maybe we just believe in it too much. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Whoa. <laughs> Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Sam moved into his own room. Understandable. If you're not gonna take down Calvin's stuff, it's a hard room for Sam to live in. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Oh. That looks like Molly's story. Molly's relation. Oh, Sam is Molly's brother. Yep. Oh, there's an ugly lamp again. Airline ticket. Sparrow Airlines. K. K is his ex wife, his first wife. Because they never- because they sealed off the people's rooms, there's a really strange mix of technology here. Downstairs in the main living room, you saw a plasma TV, and now we have this super old-timer TV. Oh wow. Sam. He was in the Marines. Oh, look at the astronaut on the side. Calvin stuff. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Don, then we can take off. Not quite. What? There we go. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? But we'll never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit! Oh my god, that's Mom! Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. The shore, maybe? You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. You guys should take a photo together. Hmm. There's not too much around here to take photos of. But just a general view. It's 
quite blurry. Anything specific they want me to get a photo of? Ah! I should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. <laughs> but still, while I take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> uh, nothing quite like being outside. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? You are interesting. How about the super interesting cup? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. That's a long time ago. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. If Dawn was like me. Give me a minute to check the map. Dawn was pretty carefree and stuff too, but eventually she learned to be more like her dad. More protective. Dad! Good eyes, Dawn. Oh my god! Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Great shot, Don! Oh. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad. it. Oh! these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Damn. My mom watched my grandpa die right in front of her. Oh my god. There is a ring for the first wife, I think. Holy crap. Yeah, it seems like Grandpa was into stuff like taxidermy, hunting, stuff to do with the Marines, but my mom, I don't think my mom is much of a hunter. Holy crap. Maybe this is how Rick disappeared! We get some lights going on here? Automatic. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. He left the house too? If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Look at Edith here. Eventually, she came back. This is some sort of bunker. Mm. Goodbye, everyone. 
I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Oh my God. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. He didn't disappear. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. Maybe this is how Rick disappeared. Can we get some lights going on here? Automatic. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. He left the house too? If there's a pattern in all these stories... I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Hmm. Look at Edith here. Eventually, she came back. This is some sort of bunker. Hmm. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Oh my god! On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. He didn't disappear! But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. What is the shaking though? Is there an earthquake every day? Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. He's been so traumatized by Barbara's death. Because he was there that night. And then one day, everything just... 2005! Stop. He's been doing this for 30 years. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. So Walter has been traumatized by Barbara's death this whole time, but Edie was bringing meals to him. He just kind of locked himself here. Oh, but check this out. Postcards. Wait, do the rest of the family know about Walter being here? Maybe not, because I assume that these are postcards being sent by the family, being like, Hey Walter, we're going to Russia this month, we've been to Thailand, we've been to India, but this whole time, maybe people never knew that he was right below them. And there seems to be some type of monster here that is no longer here. Damn, how could anyone live like this? He must be really traumatized. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. And Calvin. It's not just Barbara, but everybody, all of his siblings who went before him. He was the last sibling to go. Maybe this is all a mistake. 
But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Mm. I think the train ran him over. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Yeah, they didn't know. Man. The day he decided to leave the house, he died. What the hell is that? March 31st. Damn. Should we go outside? I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Oh, that's so sad. He pretended he had an outside by putting a painting here. So whatever this curse is, if you're hiding from it, it seems that you can kind of escape it until you stop hiding. What the heck? Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Too many things. I don't want to make the same mistake we made. We went, but all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. It's because um, Sam is getting remarried here, right? It's raining. Gus should go inside as well. Oh, there's a large wind. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Lightning. Thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. Oh! I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. It says a poem for Gus, so the person who wrote this poem is the mom, right? He stayed outside for too long in the rain. Mm-hmm. Greg, Don, Gus. They all live together in the attic, but Don's room, Don's bed is not here anymore because her brothers died, so they moved her downstairs. Because you don't want to live around dead people, dead people stuff. It's never pleasant. How many are we missing now? 
Dawn, Milton, and Lewis. Edie. Edie as well. Interesting. Whoa. The way this room is sealed is... Not very natural. Gus, Don, Gregory. House rules. No playing outside without permission. No answering doors for strangers. No messes after dark. But before dark, it's okay. <laughs> All chores before dark. Respect others. Raise flag? At 7.30. Breakfast, quiet time. Well, I guess since Sam, Sam was in the military, he made his kids do really strict stuff too. Dawn, duties, sweep, trash. Gus, mop, mow yard. Greg, be a baby. <laughs> Routine, jump rope 100 times. Jumping jacks 150 times. Push-ups 100 times. Crunches 100 times. Run to the mailbox and back. Wow, Spartan training. Wow! Oh my god! Oh, this is the area of the house that's like, it just goes up for some reason.